Hello, good morning to you and welcome to business. Manufacturers of textiles in the country have agreed to fund the implementation of tax terms on textiles produced in the country. This came to light after an agreement between all stakeholders of textile industry and the Industrial and Commercial Workers Union, ICU. General Secretary of the ICU, Solomon Kote, said the decision was taken because they support efforts by government to deal with the influx of pirated textiles on the market. Being a perennial problem, the workers themselves, together with the national leadership, came to the meeting with alternatives to what has been practiced in the past that seems not to work. So in thinking outside the box has resulted in these five thematic pillars that we are going to ensure its compliance. The good thing is that the task force this time round is going to include quite a substantial number of the workforce themselves together with the police personnel, military, the customs and then the um, um, immigration officers from the border checkpoint. And then again, you see the task force has also been expanded. It won't only be one point to the other. This time round, we are beginning with three, Kumasi, Accra and Takradi. And we believe that will bring some sanity in the market situation. I raised the concern about the cost earlier. I don't know what you have on the table. Whilst you'll be meeting the Minister of Finance, what are you going to suggest? that you take the cost of printing the uh, tax stamp or government takes the cost? If you have looked at the legislation that was begun by the NDC, okay, on the process of this tax stamp, it didn't start with this government. So all those elements have been fused into it already. The stakeholders have also been brought to a meeting and they've all admitted and said, look, we are willing to comply. Because that will also give us the proper market share that these indigenous enterprises are scrambling for. So it is there that is admitted by all stakeholders. That they are going to pay for it. They are going to pay for it. It's going to be another form of revenue to government as well. So the textile manufacturing companies, ATL, GTP, they are going to pay for the tax stamp, printing of the tax stamp? Obviously they are going to use that to sell their product because it's going to give them guarantee of where the product is coming from. And every market situation, you must separate the inferior from the superior ones. And we think whatever margin they have to contribute to it, they will. Is it not going to affect the cost of the material in the market? Because already we are talking of price competitiveness. The question is, how much is it? Okay, and if you look at the stimulus package that government is also going to give to them, it's going to alleviate the oh, serious cost burden that they carry along. And then again, you realize they even also reduce the electricity bill and the water bill. So all those areas, you know, could substitute for this new task time they are bringing in. Now, Deputy Minister of Finance Kweku Kwating says plans are underway to ensure all government properties. This is in response to some concerns raised by SIC boss who revealed recently that all government buildings in the country are not insured, a situation he describes as a breach of the insurance law. But according to Mr. Kwating, there is also the need for insurance companies to come up with tailor-made insurance products to entice the public. Advice we are sending out to not just insurers, but even to our financial institutions, is to consider the, the, the need and the option of making available long-term funds to those who want to invest in long-term projects. So last time the SIC boss indicated that government properties are not insured. For you and your outfit, what, are, what more are you doing to ensure that these properties are insured going forward? Or how do you address this? Well, then, obviously the solution is to get those properties that have not been insured to get them insured. That we will do. But I think there's a bigger market out there. Insurance penetration is 2% of GDP. We could be doing 50 like South Africa. And therefore, yes, government will do its bit, but we urge our insurance companies to design products that will be attractive to businesses and to the citizenry generally so that we can expand the insurance uh, penetration. I am sure we would get there as the economy stabilizes, as <clears throat> insurance companies are more confident that their investments will not be eroded by macroeconomic instability, I'm sure they will be able to do this better and the economy would be the beneficiary. And that's business for now. I'll come away again 
at midday with more business. My name is Imano Apuachi. We are free. Have a good morning. <laughs>